Today, we are going to talk about covenants, and I want to talk about a dream that Jacob had about a ladder going up into heaven. And so I thought it'd be fun to draw a tree house, and we could have a ladder going up to our tree house, which represents getting home to our Heavenly Father. I think this is going to be super fun. Let's get drawing. Let's go. All right, let's go ahead and start drawing our tree house. And to do this, find where the middle of your page is, not the top or the bottom, but the middle. And we're gonna draw an 11 in the middle of the page. And you can create two dots here, just like that. And we're gonna go all the way down close to the bottom of the page to draw our 11, just go down. Doesn't have to be perfectly straight because this is a tree trunk. And then at the end, I like to just go out just a little bit on both sides, kind of where the roots go into the ground. And if you want to, you can put a little bit of grass down there, however you like to draw grass. I like to just use little lines. And now this is going to be the tree trunk that we have to take the ladder up to get to our tree house. So right up here, we're gonna build our tree house, and this represents getting home to our Heavenly Father. So this is our home that we want to get to. So we're gonna draw a little base on top of our tree. This is the floor of our tree house. It doesn't have to go out too much further from the tree. So just kind of like draw a line across the top, a little platform for as big as you want your tree house to be. And then you can make it a super thin rectangle by putting two little lines on both sides and then drawing another line on top of it, just like that. All right, so if you guys got that, let's now build the walls of our tree house to keep it nice and sturdy so we can be safe inside of our home. So we're gonna go up a little ways. Probably, we don't wanna get all the way to the top because we need to have enough room for all of our tree leaves and stuff. So maybe just put a couple little dots up here, up in the sky. And then we're gonna draw the walls down to the floor of our tree house. Now once we have that, we wanna put a roof on our tree house. So you can find where the middle of your two walls are and go all the way up and say, this is where the point of my tree house is gonna be at and just put a little dot on there. And then we're gonna go all the way down to the end of our tree house and we'll start back up here on our dot and we'll go down on the other side. And there, now you have a nice roof that keeps the water, it keeps it safe and dry inside your tree house. And now we probably want to put maybe a window or something up on here. So you can just draw a square in here, you can put wherever you want. Maybe you want to make a round window. I'm just gonna do a square window in mine. And then I like to put like a little thin rectangle underneath it. All right, so there is my tree house. And then if we wanna make it look like there's wood boards in it, we can just draw little lines. Sometimes you can start to go an imaginary line for a little bit and then finish the line. Sometimes I think that looks kind of fun for wood. And then we got it. We definitely have to draw a line and then do an imaginary line when we go over the window and then finish our line when we go under on the underside of it. So I'm going to do that again. I get down to the window, lift up my pen, keep going, put it back down and finish that line. So do a couple more lines. If you need to get caught up, you can always stop the video and you can go back or just pause it until you get caught up and then we'll all be together working on this. The next thing I wanna do is I wanna put a branch coming out of the tree trunk, just kind of going out this way. Cause sometimes it's fun to have, you can do whatever your shape, you can do a windy branch, you can do a straight one, however you like to do your branches. But right now we can just kind of do like a stick figure, just kind of do one line. So I did just kind of like a squiggly one. Now what I want to do is I want to kind of follow that line, 
but do one right above it or below it and just go up and around and up like that. Super fun to make branches because they can be in any size or shape. And then just put a W on the, uh, on the end of it, just kind of like that. And that looks kind of like there's some leaves on it. And so you see when we draw the rest of the tree, it's gonna look like a nice bushy tree house. Because now what we need to do is we need to create our big tree house shape or our, not our tree house, but our big canopy for this tree. So it's gonna be big, it's gonna take up all of this space because we wanna have a lot of leaves because it's always fun to have a tree house in a big tree. So, but it has leaves and so it can be whatever shape you want. You can put a lot of bumps in it and stuff for where the leaves are. So if you watch me, you can see that I can just kind of go over where, all over the place. I don't have to make it round. You can do it perfectly round if you want, but I'm gonna go all the way over on top of this. And then I'm gonna go down over underneath my tree branch and stop right there. So there, now I have my big tree with a tree house inside of it. And now we're gonna make these steps that go up to the tree house. And we'll talk about what these steps are for. Well, of course these steps are for getting into the treehouse, but we have a gospel lesson we can talk about for these steps too. So just make rectangles or whatever kind of steps you would like to get up to your treehouse. Maybe you do thin ones or thick ones. Mine has four steps on it. Yours might have three steps. You don't have to have the same number of steps. I usually just do enough steps to fill up the tree trunk. All right, so there's my finished tree. So we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna start coloring it. I'm gonna use the color green to color my leaves in the tree. There's lots of different colors of trees. Heavenly Father's created a beautiful world with us with all kinds of different colors of trees. You can do red leaves, you know, you could do purple. I'm gonna use green and it's gonna take a little while to color it, so I'm gonna tell you a little bit about a story. So when I color this in, and maybe you've learned this in your lessons at home or at, at church, but there was a, an ancient prophet in the scriptures who had a dream about a ladder that went up to heaven. And he saw angels going up and down this ladder and so why I thought it would be fun to draw this picture is we also have a ladder, and I thought it would be fun to have the ladder going up to our tree house because a tree house is a place, it's, a, it's like a home, it's a place we want to get to, and the ladder goes up into our tree house where we want to get to. Just like Jacob, he wants to go up to heaven and he wants to live with his heavenly father, just like he saw the angels going up and down. And our Heavenly Father, he has given us covenants that we can follow, which are kind of like the different steps of the ladder to get there. So he teaches us things that we can do to keep our covenants. And we've made, some of us have made some covenants. Maybe some of you have been baptized. And when you're baptized, you promise to follow the Savior and follow his teachings. And so as we do those things, we get to go up this ladder. And so it's pretty easy to do what he asks us to do. And he promises to help us too when we ask for his help to get up the ladder. I think it'd be really fun to see what colors you guys decided to make your tree. And if I'm coloring too fast, just go ahead and pause this video and wait till you get all caught up. See, I'm almost done here. That's gonna be a really nice tree. And then one of the fun things is, is you could hang up this picture in your room and it could remind you about how you want to follow the Savior. 
how you want to keep his covenants so that you can get up to the top of your tree house. All right, so now let's go ahead. You could use a different color of green or you can use the same green that you use for the trees and you could color just a little bit. I just put some more lines down here for my grass. But just color our grass down here. Give a nice soft place. One thing that I really like doing on a hot sunny day is sitting in some grass underneath a tree. It always feels really nice. All right, so now I am going to color the trunk of this tree, and I just got a brown color for my tree. Maybe you wanna do it gray. You could even do it blue if you want. You know, this is an imaginary, fun, artistic tree where you get to pick the colors and you get to decide. All right, I'll have this almost all filled in here. And I'm gonna fill up this side. And then maybe go across the base with some brown. You could maybe pick a different color of brown. Or maybe I think I'm gonna do orange for my tree house. And maybe your tree house is your favorite color. Maybe you've painted your tree house. Because this is a place you, because re remember, this is a place we really want to get to. Because just like in Jacob's dream, it goes up to heaven, which is a place we want to go to. And you could even ask, you could ask your parents about what things you do to keep Heavenly Father's covenants. Maybe talk about what things you can do to better keep those covenants. It could be really fun. All right, I'm gonna use a little bit of my other brown and get my little window pane here colored brown. All right, so now I think it's fun to just take some yellow and put that inside of the tree house, make it like a cheery, happy place. The lights are on and very welcoming because we wanna go inside of there. And then we have these steps and our Heavenly Father has in a way kind of given us steps or he's given us uh, commandments, he's given us covenants that we can make that get us up to that tree house. And it's not like a checklist or anything, but there's things that he's asked us to do that can help us to learn and grow on our pathway so that we can all eventually get there, get to the top of the tree. And we'll all be able to learn and learn those things and grow and get there. This is my finished tree house. Let's look at some that some other people have done. It's right here. I like this tree house. This one's an extra tall tree. It even has two branches. Because remember, you can make your trees look like whatever you want. And it has a whole bunch of steps here. I just think it looks really pretty. Let's look at some more. This one was done by an adult, and I think, or a parent, and I thought it was really nice that they painted theirs this purple color, so they had theirs painted. Really pretty tree, took up the whole page. I think it looks great, and I think it's really fun if you do this with your parents, because I think drawing is good for everybody. I noticed that when I'm coloring and drawing, it helped make stories more important and makes them more memorable for me. And here we have another one. I got a whole bunch today, I'm really excited. And here you can see this beautiful tree with this blue turquoise colored with gray steps on the ladder. I think this looks really nice. And then I got one more right here. This was done by a five-year-old and I think it looks really pretty. You can see the tree here and all this on here. And yeah, again, if you get to color these with your family, if you want to, maybe a good idea is you can draw your tree house and then as a family, you can color them and talk about it together. It's a fun time because it, sometimes it takes a while to color things and then you can just talk about this tree house, this ladder that helps us to get home to heaven. I think it'd be really fun. It was really fun to draw and talk with you about this today and I can't wait to see you guys during the next video. We'll see you later, bye. <music>